There's an old adage in horse circles that everything from cow dogs to fence posts can trace itself back to three bars, a thoroughbred who happened to have found its way into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. And the reason three bars got the prestige that he did was because he set in motion a line of performance-based quarter horses like the world had never seen before. And a lot of that has to do with a particular son of his, known as Lightning Bar. Fold in 1951, Lightning Bar was bred as a racehorse, but injuries and bouts of illness would honestly keep him off the racetrack past the age of two. He was bred and owned by Art Pollard, who would honestly have him for his entire life. Lightning Bar, like we said earlier, was by three bars, and out of a dam known as Della P, who was a daughter of a thoroughbred stallion named Doc Horn. Art actually owned Della P. He had purchased Della P from Dink Parker for $1,750, somewhere in the late 1940s. When Lightning Bar was about five days old, Pollard was afraid he had some leg problems and he looked a bit buck-kneed. And he was given serious consideration to putting the colt down. So he reached out to Dink Parker for some advice. Pollard would later say that Dink just looked at me and shook his head and said, ain't you ever gonna learn nothing? That colt's just what you've been looking for. When mature, the sorrel-colored Lightning Bar would stand around 15 two hands tall and weighed around 1,250 pounds. Lightning would start on the racetrack 10 times, winning four of those races and coming in second three times and third once. His total earnings were $1,491, and at one point achieving a speed index of AAA. But Lightning Bar would have a short-lived race career, only racing for one year after suffering bouts of pneumonia, strangles, and different leg injuries. After his racing career, Lightning Bar would go on to be a show horse, earning 18 open halter points with the AQHA and an AQHA Champion Award in 1955. After the racing career, it was time for Lightning Bar to do what most horses do, and that's go to stud. Pollard had an ingenious way of advertising Lightning Bar. He would let one of his ranch hands take him to a local jackpot roping, where the hand actually won the roping. Lightning Bar was also super intelligent, as Pollard would say he had to be very careful with the type of latches he used on gates because Lightning Bar was quick to figure them out. But at the age of nine, it would all come to an end for Lightning Bar. In 1960, Lightning Bar would die from colitis egg, a blanket term used for several known intestinal diseases. There's no real known origin, and onset is sudden, and death is pretty quick. But before his death, he would give us seven crops of foals. And his most famous? Doc Bar. Pollard would sell the remaining of his horses after losing majority to colitis, and it would be 15 years before his return. 